everybody, it's Jamie from Play to Learn Preschool. I am on live a little bit later than I normally am. Um, we just kind of had a busy afternoon. The danger of me coming on live at 4 o'clock Eastern is that I have four kids of my own who are home. So I have asked them to just give me like 10 minutes of quiet so I could do a video because I really wanted to share some of my favorite community helper books with you. So fingers crossed that we won't have any surprise guests. Um, they're older, my kids are eight to 15. Hey Erica, can everybody hear me okay? I'm trying with a mic too because I don't want any noise from them to interfere. Can you guys hear me okay? All right. Um, so anyway, my kids are like eight to 15, so they should be fine for 10 minutes without me. Hi, 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 hi Nancy, my family's on the, on the Illinois side of St. Louis. Hello, hello, hi everybody. Okay, so, oh good, hooray, so far things are working out. I thought that I would just hop on because I wanted to share with you some of our favorite community helper books. I know that when we talk about planning, Gemma and I spend the bulk of our energy and our time planning for our environment, planning for the centers, planning for the learning experiences, and really setting these kids up just to be natural learners. Um, but the parts of our day that we do plan are the circle time at the beginning of the day, like our morning meeting, and then we also plan our story time. So, hi Dawn, hi! And we'll see how the later goes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like to do it earlier in the afternoon, you know, because I'm the only one in the house, and so it's easy. Um, you know, it's pretty easy, but we'll see how it goes at 4 o'clock. <laughs> it can be one of those that never actually gets posted for replay, but we'll see. <laughs> the way that we have our community helper unit organized is by grouping some of the community helpers together. And I've written up what we do for our daily circle time lesson plans in the... Um, community helpers unit that I sell on TPT and I'll leave a link for it as soon as I log off. Um, but what I thought I would do here is just kind of share the books that we use with each day. So as an example, on um, one day with community helpers we were talking about community, <laughs> community helpers who work in our neighborhood, like the mail carrier and the garbage collector and the news reporter. And so on the day that we talk about this, and there's a little song that we sing as part of our circle time, the book that I like to read with the kids is one of my favorites. Are you familiar with these books? Um, this one is called I Stink by Kate and Jim McMullen. And these, uh, they have a whole line of books. There's one called, oh, Oh, I can't remember. There's like a little tugboat one. Um, and they're really super cute with different um, transportations. Boys especially. I mean, I know girls do too, but boys love this little adorable book about a garbage truck. And it's called I Stink. So this is the book that we read on the day that we talk about community helpers who work in our neighborhood. So this is really the only thing that we sort of plan in terms of lessons for that day. Um, we plan our circle time and then we plan our story. Um, and then of course we put out different art, process art things, but the rest of it is really the environment, which we've talked about a lot, so. Okay, so I'm gonna just share six. The first is the I stink with the helpers in the neighborhood. The next one is community helpers uh, who build and fix things, which is another crowd pleaser. Uh, in this one we're talking about painters, mechanics, construction workers, carpenters, and plumbers. And there are tons of good construction books, tons, but our very favorite stars, our favorite character, Pete the Cat. And in this one, it's called Pete the Cat Construction Destruction. Pete decides that he's going to renovate the playground at his school. So he draws up some plans and shows them to his principal, plans for the new playground and then gets some of his construction friends and they assemble a playground, a really cool playground. Here, I'll show you a picture of what it looks like when it's all assembled. Super fun with a sandbox and some monkey bars. But then something happens. Creak, creak, creak. Oh no! The playground falls apart and so they build it again in a different way. 
So this is a really good book um, talking about community helpers who build and fix things. These posters are part of the community helper circle time unit. Yes, so this is what we do. There's a little activity that goes with each one. That's what we do for circle time. And then this is what we're reading on that day for our story time. Another group of community helpers that we teach about are the community helpers who keep us healthy. The dentist, the vet for our pets, the nurse, and the doctor. And we've done a lot of healthy body books and doctor books, especially with our nutrition unit. But the one that I kind of like to read, especially with my younger two and three year olds, that to go along with this circle time unit, is The Five Little Monkeys Jumping on the Bed. This is the perfect book to read if you have kids who need to move around while they're listening to the stories. Um, perfect for younger kids if you have two year olds or three year olds or even one and a half year old toddlers. They love this book. It's very sing songy and uh, they can jump and act it out. And it's always about what does the doctor say? The doctor wants you to take good care of yourself. Uh, the doctor's a community helper who wants you to be healthy and safe. So this is one of my favorite books to read on uh, the day that we talk about community helpers who work in the medical profession. Number four, which one do I wanna do next? Are the community helpers who grow and prepare our food. So there are lots of helpers in our community who work at the grocery store and in the farms who grow and squirrely five-year-olds too, I know. Especially, it feels like since we've been back after Christmas, um, it's taken us a little while to settle in, so my five-year-olds would enjoy that too. The community helpers who grow and prepare our food are the gardener, the chef at the restaurant, the farmer, and the baker. We should have a picture of a grocery store guy. We don't have a grocer on here, but um, these are the people who help us get food. And one of the, um, there's two actually, there's lots of good farm books. But I was finding when we were trying to plan for this unit that a lot of my farm books were actually about farm animals, like a thousand cow books and a hundred pig books and sheep books and horse books and not quite as many books about the actual farmer who is the community helper. Um, but I love these two. Old MacDonald by Amy Schwartz, which is, a, of course, a sing-along book. And then I also love Mrs. Wishy-Washy's Farm. In this one, Mrs. Wishy-Washy is trying to wrangle these three farm animals to take a, a bath. And either one of these books is a really good choice to read on the day that you talk about community helpers who grow and prepare our food. So that's four groups of community helpers. And like I said, we're doing one each day. So I'm introducing it during circle time. There's a little circle time activity um, that we do. And then this is the book that we're reading. Another group of community helpers that we talk about are community helpers who help at our school. Now this is a tiny bit tricky and I'll tell you why. Because here at preschool, it's just the teacher. You know, the teacher and two teachers. We're the nurse, we're the coach, we're the librarian, we're the principal, we're everybody, right? And so with this set of community helpers, I actually don't do this one with our younger kids. So our older kids who are turning five will go to kindergarten in August and they come to school three days a week. My younger group only comes to school two days a week. And so they only get about two thirds of the number of circle time lessons as the older kids. And this is one that I typically cut because unless they have older siblings and they've been to a, a big school or unless you're in a childcare facility or a private school or a public school that you know has all these different community helpers in it, this is like speaking foreign language to the younger kids because they are familiar with what they see every day. They see the mailman every day. They see the garbage man every day. They see um, the builders working outside on the roads. They see firefighters and police. They see the man at the grocery store. They see um, you know, the chef or the cooks at the restaurant. They don't necessarily go into a big school and meet the principal and the crossing guard and you know the janitor. So if your kids are not familiar with that, Jenna, you are so sweet. You're my new best friend. Thank you. <laughs> if your kids are not familiar with all those community helpers in their school, uh, then I would cut this one because you really want to stick with what they're familiar with, what they have background knowledge about, and what you know what they've seen and what they have some information about because it's really 
I'm gonna say it's hard, but it's also developmentally not very appropriate to introduce things that the kids have no knowledge about during your circle time. Uh, because if they can't see it every day, if they don't have you know memories of it or you know some understanding of what it is, it's like you know, they can smile and nod and maybe even participate in the circle time, but if they don't have something to connect it to in their own life, it's all for naught. So I do do this one with my older kids because they are all getting ready for kindergarten. They're going to go to a kindergarten roundup, the way that our school system works. Um, the kids sign up for public schools in, I think, February. It's coming up really soon. And then they do like a little kindergarten roundup at the school where they can meet all the people. So I love to tell them about this because I know kindergarten is on their radar. I know they're excited about going to the big school. And so I like to introduce, you know, these are some of the people that you'll meet at the big school. There might be a coach or a PE teacher. You'll have your own teacher in your classroom. Um, there might be a crossing guard to help you walk around, you know, the bus. There's a librarian. You get to go to your own library at the big school and check out books. And there's a janitor who helps keep the school really clean. We could even talk. There's probably a principal. They might have a bus driver. There's lots of community helpers who will help you when you go to the big school. And again, this is another group of community helpers that you probably have 10 books. You know, that would be good ones to read. But this one is my absolute favorite. This is The Wheels on the Bus by Mary Alice Moore. And it's a school version of the wheels on the bus so all the people who come on the bus each you know each page are all school helpers so it's the perfect book to read with um, school community helpers so it's just the wheels on the bus song um, just the regular school bus though and then the kids on the bus say off we to school here we go off to school the kids on the bus say here we go all the way to school and then the teachers on the bus say, think, 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 learn, 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 think, think, think. The teachers on the bus say, learn, 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 all the way to school. The librarian gets on the bus, the coach gets on the bus. Um, the librarian is saying, read, 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 read your books. The coach gets on and says, catch, 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 throw, 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 catch, catch, catch. Uh, the nurse says, open wide ah 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 and so each page another community helper gets on the school bus and then of course at the end the driver on the bus says everybody off everybody off everybody off the driver on the bus says everybody off here we are at school and so it's super duper cute it's the perfect book to go along with a school community helpers um lesson. So if you're teaching about school community helpers, this is a great book. Check your library. I saw a comment go by um, asking where I get most of my books. Honestly, I get most of my books. I order them from Scholastic. I send the Scholastic flyers home with my um, you know, students so that they can order books. And then you get bonus points to order books for your classroom. So I'd say probably 75% of my books are from uh, Scholastic, and then if I know there's a unit that I don't have a ton of good books, I always hit up the children's library. We have a great children's librarian here in our town, and I'll just go and say, this is what I'm teaching. Can you pull some books that are really good for me? Um, you know, would they be good for three and four-year-olds? I love to do used book sales. I don't know, I've got quite a collection. <laughs> and then the last group of community helpers, the sixth one, are community helpers who keep us Safe, and this is the one that most kids think of when we talk about community helpers. So I'm trying to get the camera so it's facing the right way, so you can see the books. And now I can't figure out here they are. The community helpers who keep us safe are the lifeguard, the military, firefighters, and police officers. And their job is to keep us safe in our community. And of course, the kids always have stories. Oh, I saw a fire truck, or um, I saw a policeman at the mall, or you know, they always have stories. And so, and again, this is another one. I have a whole, I use those white Ikea boxes um, to store my thematic books. That's my generic community helpers box sitting there ready to go for circle time and story time. But I also have a separate box just for fire safety, a separate box just for dental health, a separate box just for farms, a separate box for school, you know, for school. So the community helpers, you know, I kind of have to pick and choose from all over the place. Um, and so there's a ton of great books about firefighters and police. Uh, my favorite one to read with my youngest group with my threes are the Fire Bears, the Rescue Team. I love this book because like a lot of the other books that are real sing-songy, it's 
um, kind of easy, you know, for the kids to listen to and to sing along. It rhymes um, and it's super duper cute. Look at those cute little fire bingers from station number eight. So this is the book that I like to read when we're talking about community helpers that keep us safe. Your daughter thinks she's a police officer. Well, it could be. I think it's the same. Security guard, police officer. I think if you're three years old, it's all the same, right? So that's what we've been studying in, or studying, learning about in January, community helpers. Like I said, I break them into groups and introduce it during circle time with a little activity. And then these are the books that I like to read them. So I just thought it'd be kind of helpful to show you what we are doing on a daily basis. I hope, thank you guys for joining me. I know it's a different time that I'm usually on. Um, and I really appreciate you joining me. So let me know um, if you have any other good community helper books that I could add to my list. And I hope as always you have fun playing and learning with your kiddos. And I'll see you again next time. Bye everybody, thanks.